Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of 9 in 9 with Sunderland. Today we take on Forest Green Rovers as we look to secure an unbeaten season. We'll take a look at the results we've had since we were last together and we'll look at the final day because there is still a lot to be decided. Don't forget if you enjoy this content to please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's dive into the results we've had since we were last together. So following completing the double in the Papa John's Trophy, we beat the MK Dons by two goals to nil. Felix Nemetra and Ryan Hardy with the goals. We backed that up with a 3-0 win over Cambridge United. Two goals for Felix Nemetra, one for Brennan Johnson. We narrowly squeaked past Birmingham City. Aidan George was sent off in the first half. Brad Potts finally putting them to the sword with 86 minutes gone. And last time out, we beat Huddersfield by four goals to nil. Brennan Johnson with a goal, Zach Medley with one. Two for Felix Nemecha, one was an absolute beauty. So that gives us our penultimate look at the League One table. We're on 117 points. We have smashed the League One record, and I daren't say that will never be beaten, particularly if we get to 120 today. The race is still on for near enough everything else that's happening in League One. The second side to be automatically promoted goes to the final day Portsmouth and Reading goal difference separate them at this point just three goals in it as well as Reading will look for a big win on the final day to send them up automatically Peterborough and Birmingham have got a playoff place it's between Rotherham and Huddersfield for the last playoff place we'll take a look at all the fixtures shortly because there's lots happening today We've mentioned Tramier and Crewe already down. It's between Plymouth, Morecambe and today's opponents, Forest Green. And if you're still looking over your shoulder a little bit, Burton Albion. Although they do have a better goal difference than the sides below them. So it's probably between three for the last two relegation places. Let's take a look at the rest of the fixtures for this week. So here are the final day fixtures for League One. Lots happening, as I've said. So Rotherham have the chance to gain a playoff place. They take on Plymouth, who are looking for points down the bottom. Portsmouth and Birmingham is a very tasty game at Fratton Park. Reading and Grimsby, Grimsby mid-table. Reading looking to go up automatically. We'll be looking for a win there. Burton Albion will be looking to secure their place in League One as they take on the MK Dons. Morecambe take on Bolton in a big game down at the bottom for Morecambe and Huddersfield take on Shrewsbury as they look to gate crash the playoffs as I say there is lots happening all over the place we'll try and keep abreast of it as we go let's take a look at the teams so here are the two starting lineups for the final game of the season Walton starts in goal for us Helix, Southam, Medley and G Brigani, Grimes, Embleton Johnson, Nemecha with Ryan Hardy leading the line Boris Green start with Norman in goal Roberts, Thornley Jules, Pike, Cooper, Kirby, Francisco, Hutchinson, Hugill with Temzerovic up front. Obviously, there will be a party atmosphere at the stadium alight. Forest Green looking to avoid relegation down at the bottom. They are in the driving seat at the moment, but a win will be needed if they are going to stay in League One. We hoping to send them down, potentially. We'll see what happens. A lot will be happening this afternoon. There is a lot going on on the final day. It's nice to see it. Obviously, the league tight was wrapped up weeks ago. So it's nice to see everybody else still battling for position. Throw in to us. I thought we were going to get through the first half without seeing an entire highlight. Nemecha down to Embleton, on to Hardy. Looking for Brennan Johnson. That's a great run in behind from him. Can he get the ball across the front of goal? He'll have to go back to Perry and G, and he does. Towards the Metro, he's headed over the bar. Norman with the goal kick. Sending it down the field. Headed forward by Nemecha. Onto Hardy. Looking wide to and G. It's starting to open Forest Green up a little bit more. Goes low. Looking for Hardy, and he's put it wide. Goodness me. Should have buried that. Throw in. Bragani with it. At least all the highlights we've seen are from us. Embleton. Goes low into the match. Will he get a shot? They will. Oh, fires it just over the bar. Forest Green goal is leading a charmed life at this point. We have had the better of it. Take a look at the rest of the scores from around the ground. See what's going on. So Reading 
are currently the side in the box seat. Portsmouth are losing to Birmingham. Forest Green still above the dotted line, although Plymouth are beating Rotherham. Huddersfield are not taking advantage as yet. So, what will happen in the second half? Will we get ourselves in front? Been far from happy from what I've seen. Let's make it right. Let's send the punters home happy. 34,000 inside the stadium alike today. They have come back in their droves after a great season from us, has to be said. Who feel looking wide for Pike. Can he get the ball over? He'll find Tamerovic. And it's tipped over the bar by Walton. The corner to Forest Green. They've started the second half, the better. Francisco with the ball in. Hugo heads over the bar. Pike with the throw. Throws it into Roberts. They're going to put pressure on the football. No, they're just going to give it straight back to us. Aren't? Yeah, they are with Medley. Embleton into Grimes. Goes back into Southam. Grimes back into Southam once more. He looks to just keep the football. Try and knock it around a little bit. Medley. Plays it into Embleton. Looks for Bragani inside to the Mecha. Oh, I thought he was going to go back to him. He goes cross field instead towards Perry and G. Great pass that is. Looking for a runner perhaps. And he's looking for Brennan Johnson. Oh, he's played it a little bit too early. The goalkeeper. Oh my God. That's confidence. Knocking it around that close. And we are going to make an early substitution on the final day of the season. And it is going to be Ryan Hardy to come off. It's going to be Callum Wilson to come off. Hasn't found the back of the net for a little while. But 25 goals in the season from Ryan Hardy. Would have taken that at the start of the season. Norman with the goal kick. Sending it down the field. Are we going to win the header? We are with Grimes. Into Johnson. Looking for Nemechu. He's got space to run into. Going inside the penalty area. Angle is very tight. Bragani. Going to have to go back again. Ambleton. Forest Green defending very deep and very well at this point in time. Grimes. Goes for the shot from distance. Puts it wide of the post. That is always going wide, that one. Right, let's make another change. With about 25 to play. Felix Nemecha is going to be the man to come off. Brad Potts is going to be the man to come on. See if we can find this goal. Corner kick. It's going to be Bragani to take it. Can we go in front from the corner? Helix heads it against the bar. And it's in at the second attempt from Michael Helix. The captain has his sixth goal of the season. And he potentially opens the trap door for Forest Green. Good header first time round. He is the first to react to the loose ball as well as he taps it in the empty net. 1-0 Sunderland. All he's got me thinking now is the TV show trapdoor. If you're old enough to remember it, you know. Francisco with the free kick. Good save from Walton. Dan Mills is on for Forest Green as they look for an equaliser. Francisco with the corner into the penalty area. If only heads it back. No, that's a terrible corner. Wow going to make a change in the center of the park going into the last 10 minutes or so it's going to be Embleton to come off Dan Neal is going to come on we look to wrap the season up with a win it's not been comprehensive but 1-0 is how we started the season are we going to finish it with a 1-0 win Walton into Helix ball down the field headed on by Jules picked up by Potts into NG onto Grimes and across into Neal Grimes again, going wide for Brennan Johnson. Good touch onto Bragani. And we find this second goal and kill the game off. Neil, inside the penalty area. It's Bragani, I thought he was going to get the edge of the box. He goes towards goal, falling heads it away. And G, shoot Perry, he does! Oh my goodness! Whew. Wow. Hit the crossbar, I thought the goalkeeper saved it. Throw into Forest Green, four in added minutes. They're going to have to start pushing bodies forward. Losing is not going to be enough for them. Mills coming down the right-hand side. Goes low. Southam gets it away. Are we going to hit them on the counter? Walton sends it down the field, but it's giving it straight back to them. Francisco into Kirby. Francisco once more. Goes into Hutchinson. Through to Hugill. Bodies flooding forward from Forest Green. There's like six of them in our half, which means we should be able to hit them on the counter, but we've given it away again. Brock Bank. Looking over the top for Francisco. Goes low. Semperovic gets it away. And then G sends it down the field. Looking for Callum Wilson. We look to hit them on the break. Neil looking for Brennan Johnson. Oh, he's overhit it. I think Mills will get there. And sends it back to his goalkeeper. Frenetic stuff at the end of the game. As Forest Green look for an equaliser. Don't think they're going to get it. And G. They are sending bodies into our half of the field. And G 
into Grimes. Looking long for Brad Potts. That's a good ball in behind. Can Callum Wilson find some space? It'll go behind for a corner into the last minute. The Forest Greens League One tenure looks like it's coming to an end unless everything fell apart for everyone else as Bedley heads it wide. We'll take a look at the league table in just a few seconds time as we are going to hit the 120 mark with the points total. Fantastic stuff. Temterovic tries to get away. It's a foul. And he's given the free kick to Forest Green. We are over time, Mr. Referee. It is time to blow your whistle. And he has done. Full time whistle's gone. We aren't going to see the trophy lift. Fair enough. I thought we would on the final home game. So we've beaten Forest Green by a goal to nil. Let's take a look at the final league table of the season. So it's congratulations to Reading who have finished second and have gone up automatically to the championship for next season. Their win over Grimsby coupled with Portsmouth's draw with Birmingham means that Portsmouth will be in the playoffs. Rotherham survived a scare in the playoffs. They have lost to Plymouth and that means bad news for Forest Green as they have gone down on goal difference after Plymouth's 2-1 win over Rotherham. So yeah, the League One table is complete. We don't have to worry about the playoffs. We are going back to the Championship. So there's six down, three to go as we search for nine in nine. Now keep an eye on the social medias over the next couple of days there will be a sneak preview as to who club number seven is going to be it is already done folks it has been sorted out we have a new destination for our seventh club as we attempt nine in nine join me next time to see the preview for next season don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, to please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.